We have four nominations, including Stephen Menashe, who you've mentioned, Mr. Chairman, who has been nominated to the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. I'm disappointed that the committee is once again holding a hearing on a nominee, Menashe, who does not have blue slips from either of his home state senators. For those of you who don't know, this is a new, um, a new glitch in our process. I've spoken at length before about the blue slip tradition, and I won't restate what I've said, but I just want to say it's disappointing that home state senators, regardless of party, no longer have any say in choosing judicial nominees at the Court of Appeals level. I want to say a few words about Mr. Menashe's nomination in particular. The Second Circuit is a very important court, covering New York, Connecticut, and Vermont. The seat to which Mr. Menashe has been nominated was previously held by Thurgood Marshall. I have some questions about Mr. Menashe's record, which I will cover today. He currently works in the Trump administration as an associate counsel in the White House Counsel's Office. However, it's unclear from what he's submitted what issues and policies Mr. Menashe has worked on, and I would like to understand his role at the White House and learn which topics, such as the administration's family separation policy, he has worked on. And so I hope on his comments to us, he would explain that to us today. He has also worked under, under, under Secretary Betsy DeVos at the Department of Education from 2017 to 18 as Acting General Counsel and Principal Deputy General Counsel. On the committee questionnaire, Mr. Menashe stated that he was involved, quote, in all aspects of the department's operations during his tenure. During that time, the department took a number of controversial actions. For example, the department reversed efforts to reduce campus sexual assault, argued it was appropriate to use federal funds to buy guns for teachers, and rescinded efforts to crack down on, on for-profit colleges that use illegal or deceptive tactics to get students to borrow money to attend. So I look forward to asking Mr. Menashe about his work at the Department of Education. I am also concerned about some of his writings about the Muslim community. The Second Circuit has one of the most diverse populations in the entire country. Specifically, the circuit is home to approximately 400,000 Muslim Americans. Mr. Menashe has written that the, quote, superiority of Western civilization over Islam is obvious. He also wrote disparagingly of the country of Jordan, calling it a, quote, medieval despotism, end quote. Given there are hundreds of thousands of Muslim Americans in the Second Circuit, it's important that Mr. Menashe demonstrate that he can be impartial and treat all people equally who may come before him if confirmed. Lastly, I understand that there's been a me media coverage about a law review article Mr. Menashe wrote entitled Ethno-Nationalism and Liberal Democracy. That's the University of Pennsylvania Journey of International Law 2010. I understand that Mr. Menashe's overall thesis in this article was that the state of Israel can be both a Jewish state and a liberal democracy. I happen to agree with that, and I think that's an important context in understanding Mr. Menashe's article. However, I understand the article also claims that ethnically homogeneous societies perform better on a number of measures, including political and civic engagement and social trust, than do more diverse societies. That's somewhat controversial. I'd like to hear him express his thoughts about that, and I look forward to asking him some questions. Uh, so thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.